Alright, so we just got the uh, Dokkan V-Jump leak for this month. A big shout out to Air Dokkan as well as DBS Hype on Twitter for posting this. And uh, we learned basically four major things from this release. As you can see, at the very top here, we have the announcement of STR UR Coolers Extreme Z Awakening, which is super exciting, especially because he is the best linking partner for the uh, new LR, Final Form Cooler, right? So I'm really hoping that they do right by him. I'm hoping that they somehow make him a good slot 1 defender because the uh, new cooler is definitely better in slot 2, right? So hopefully they give him some kind of like damage reduction maybe or uh, stacking defense on the super attack. Not infinitely necessarily, but at least a couple of turns, like 4 or 5 turns, right? And then um, what else? Obviously more attack and defense. Um, I haven't really thought it through. The point is, I want him to be a much better defender because his main issue is that his defense is garbage right now. So when I do showcases on like uh, Extreme Super Battle Road or Red Zone, I really want to bring this guy because he's such a good support for the new cooler, but his defense is just so bad that uh, he often gets me killed, you know? So I'm very stoked for this Extreme Z Awakening. Hopefully it's great. I got high hopes. Uh, some people are like, yo, don't screw him up like the Metal Cooler. I'm like, yo, Metal Cooler wasn't that bad, but I do hope that this guy is even better, you know? So yeah, STR, Transforming Cooler, Cooler slash Final Form Cooler, Extreme Z Awakening on the way. And from there, we also have an EZA for his side unit, which is the uh, Fizz um, Cooler's Armored Squadron slash Bowser slash Salza. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool as well. I'm assuming it's going to be very similar to the uh, Piccolo and Vegeta Extreme Z Awakenings we just got, where we'll have to run the cooler event again multiple times to get the Extreme Z Awakening medals for those guys. So yeah, two new Extreme Z Awakenings, and then from there we have a uh, announcement of a co-op campaign right here, which uh, I'm guessing we'll get this wallpaper as a reward, although it's kind of weird that we didn't get any um, you know, winner slash loser events this year because that's been a trend for almost every worldwide celebration, right? Like uh, last year, I think we had the was it Bardock and Frieza, and then before that, we had like Cell and Hercule, um, you know, Frieza and Goku, and so on and so forth, right? So, like, basically every single year, we've had these reward units for the winning side and the losing side, and uh, for some reason. There are no new units this year. Maybe they, they forgot, maybe they didn't have enough time. I don't really know. The point is, um, I always look forward to those units, you know, and we didn't have them this year, so that kind of sucks. But we do have yeah, a co-op campaign with the uh, Uller and Goku wallpaper right there. And then we also have uh, two new stages coming for the... Uh, I forgot the name of the event. Like, Fighting Spirit of the Saiyans and... Pride of the Wicked Bloodline, I think it is. So that event, the Cooler and Goku event. So two new stages. So uh, most likely, as you can see from the image, a core Cooler as well as a Super Saiyan Goku or maybe Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. I'm not sure, but we do see the Goku here, the stun coup. So yeah, uh, two new stages with core form Cooler as well as Super Saiyan Goku coming for the uh, Saiyans and Wicked Bloodline event. So aside from that, I don't think there's really anything else um, to talk about here. Um, I can't read the text, obviously, so if there's like some extra info, unfortunately, I cannot provide that for you. But just a quick recap, we got the TUR Cooler Extreme Z Awakening. We got the uh, Armored Squadron slash Bowser Extreme Z Awakening as well. And then the uh, co-op campaign, and then also two new stages for um, you know, the Wicked Bloodline Insane event. And of course, once part three rolls around, we'll also be able to get the remaining tickets for that free guaranteed LR multi. And uh, I'm sure there's gonna be other events coming too. Oh, also, not not shown here, but we'll also be getting Extreme Z Awakenings for all of the free-to-play um, type-specific metal coolers. So that team is gonna be pretty fun to run. I've got my uh, Metal Coolers all awakened, rainbowed, 
uh, close to max links actually because I want to showcase that team as soon as they exchange the awakenings drop so uh, stay tuned for that and what else I'm trying to think if there's anything else that was announced recently oh um, for anybody that's a fan of the Dragon Ball uh, Z Kakarot game we are getting a new DLC for Bardock story so that's gonna be pretty cool but I saw it was only for PS5 and Xbox One, which is kind of weird. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it, like it's going to come to other consoles as well, or to PC and the Switch and stuff like that, but for now, it seems to be exclusive for next-gen consoles, which is kind of strange, but either way, yeah, we're getting DLC for the Bardock story in uh, Kekarot, and I think that's about it. I think that's about it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, that is going to be the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.